if you spend any time in a camper, especially if you don't go from campground to campground to campground, you're gonna to wanna to hear this. I've got a battery powered air conditioner in this rig that we run just off solar panels alone. First thing, I'd like to talk about the power supply for this thing. I put some solar panels on the roof, truck camper, not that many, you know, and I put a couple lithium batteries in here, lithium iron phosphate batteries, just added them on. Uh, there's 200 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate, left the lead in, left all the charge systems the way they were. I just added a controller for the solar panel and all along the same time I put an inverter in, but that's not part of the air conditioner. Of course, to just drop the lithium in wouldn't have worked. I'd have to change everything, and it doesn't play nice with the rest of the camper systems. So I added one of my bank managers, and that takes care of all that. You just put the two in parallel, drop the bank man manager in, and forget about it. That's our power system, and this is what we did with it. Well, this is our air handler. This is what blows the cold air. And let me turn it on. I'm going to switch here on the wall, and there's a thermostat that both adjust by temperature like you're used to, also by humidity, because if it gets stuffy in here, that takes care of it too. And you turn it all on, you can hear the compressor running probably. It's not very loud, it's not as loud as this beast. And, oh, 10 seconds later, I've got nice air blowing on me. Oh, it is pleasant. It's set up in, in uh, centigrade. So currently in this camper, it's 31.6 degrees Celsius and 48% humidity. Uh, that'll start going down real soon, and I'm actually so much more comfortable. We added this too. I mean, it's all about saving power, right? Now this will cool the camper, um, unless it's just pelting down hot sun, I imagine. But anytime we want it to be in the camper, it's been fine. But I added these curtains, and when we close the curtains, we can just climate control the bed area. So at night, we can use the minimum power to be comfortable. I mounted the compressor and condenser, you know, the usually the outside parts right here. So this is kind of the loud bit. Uh, it's not that loud though. Uh, I took a piece of diamond plate and I uh, put everything on it like a shelf. It was just some wasted space the camper had. It wasn't really a, a problem to put it there. Ran the refrigerator lines right up the side of the camper underneath everything. So. They're not in the way. They don't get in the way of mounting it on the truck and ran it up into here. Of course, every camper would be different. And I guess the only other hole is this for letting the water drain out as refrigerators require. We took a, a little walk for, well, just shy of 15 minutes. Let's take a peek. It's 28.2 degrees, not bad in 15 minutes. What's that, three degrees Celsius? That's like six or so Fahrenheit. Uh, it's quite pleasant up here. Let's talk about power consumption. Uh, you really should look at my other video from a couple years ago, air conditioner on a boat without a generator. It, uh, it, it goes on a little longer. I give more philosophy. This is kind of a recap because these are essentially the same devices, except one thing. The one on the boat pumps salt water over what's called the condenser, and that's what got rid of the heat. This one has to blow air over the condenser. And that's not quite as efficient as water, and air is a little harder to pump than water, so this uses a little more power. Uh, and honestly, I got this one cranked up a little bit too. These are variable speed compressors. On the boat, I ran at about half speed. This one, I'm about three quarters, and I think this is consuming about 17 amps now. Uh, that would be not full time, of course, because once it cools the space down, it will get uh, cool enough to shut down its thermostat. You know, you've all got a house air conditioner. You know how they work. If you close these curtains, this small space, especially in the evening without the sun beating down, should be perfectly pleasant all night for very, very little uh, power out of your batteries. I said in that last video, I'd make them available somehow. Put a lot of effort into it and they were available. About 60 people have bought the components to put a kit together. Uh, we still have kits. 
Uh, I think we're going to do a kit for the air cooled version. It's just one part change out. I think we may even do something where there's a sled. So you just buy it and install it and you don't have to like charge it with Freon or fluorocarbon or whatever. Uh, anyway, that's uh, all in the works. Uh, check the description down below to find out how to find one of these things and find out more information about it if it interests you. Thanks for watching my videos. We try to do things other people don't do and I think we've done one of them. Battery powered, solar powered air conditioner. Bye from Emily and Clark.